Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. Today I thought I'd talk about peptides. Um, <laughs> it's very funny because I flagged this up a couple of weeks ago because I was reviewing my nighttime regime and I said that I would eventually talk about peptides. And uh, somebody wrote, what's going on with her and peptides? Well, because if you haven't been around a long time or known me for a long time, you probably wouldn't know that I was for a couple of years uh, in a very disruptive ad. And I say disruptive because it was deliberately designed to get in your face and sort of be addictive, but strangely annoying and became a bit of a cult favorite. And it was for an Ole Regenerist serum. And at the time, nobody had heard of peptides and they were relatively new to the industry. So this is oh, 12 years ago now, 13 years ago now. And I talked about pentapeptides and people used to shout the word to me in the street. Anyway, the reason I signed up to be the face of Olay Regenerist for a couple of years is because I believe the product works, I believe the active ingredient works, and it still does work. It's available in lots of different products. At the same time as Olay Regenerist came out, a couple of years later, you would have seen all the fuss coming out about um, Number 7 and their serums that have got this Matrixel 3000 in, which is another peptide that also works on the skin. So let's talk about peptides and why they are the slow and steady wins the race ingredients of anti-aging and skincare. So the, they're not flashy peptides. They won't change your skin overnight. They're not like using an acid, for example. You're not going to suddenly wake up with really bright, gorgeous, fresh skin, and they're not going to give you the same sort of anti-aging results as a retinol. But they're important to have because peptides are the protein building blocks of your skin. So your skin would not exist without peptides in. And peptides are essentially particles of protein that are called uh, amino acid chains. And if you were to take a protein and you were to break down any sort of protein from the protein you eat, the protein in your skin or the protein in your hair, and you break it down, eventually it would become short chains of amino acids called peptides. And what happens is when your skin constantly renews itself, it breaks down, sorry, I've got products on my lap, it breaks down into these peptides and these peptides are absorbed by the body and utilized by the body and then discarded by the body when they're no longer needed. And when you apply a peptide to the surface of the skin, if you can get it into the skin because they're quite long chains of molecules, then basically your body recognizes them as being damaged skin cells. And what it does is it sort of sits up and sends messages to the other skin cells and it says, oh, we've been damaged, we need to repair the collagen and the elastin fibers in the skin. And this takes time, which is why these products don't work overnight. These are the products you're gonna to have to use day in, day out, for weeks, if not months, if not years, to get the results. But if you can have an active ingredient that targets collagen and elastin renewal in the skin, in addition to your antioxidants and your vitamin Cs and your vitamin Es and your vitamin A, then you need peptides. So there are lots of different peptides out there and they're really easy to find if you turn your product over, if you turn your serum over, if you turn your moisturizer over and they're very stable ingredients by the way so they can be found in tubs of cream. So if you turn it over and you simply look for the word peptide. Um, Matrixel is a trademark name of a peptide but normally they're called things like pentapeptides or hexapeptides or it will always have the term peptide in it and now there are hundreds of peptides out there and the more you can get in your products the better because they all work very slightly differently on very slightly different skin cells in very slightly different ways on different skin cell functions. But I'm going to talk through some of my favourites. In addition to Ole Regenerous, the original serum, and pretty much all the entire Regenerous range, some are water-based, some are oil-based, Essentially, they are the, what are they? They're the sort of bog standard ground force military. They're not all bells and whistles, but they're something you should be using on your skin pretty much every single day, probably from your late 20s onwards. And I'm gonna talk about some of my favorites here and now. And actually, Paula's Choice Resist Intensive Repair Cream is a cream that I regularly use at this time of night. And it's, it's, its active ingredient actually is retinol, but it's also loaded with peptides as well. And that's what Paula does. Paula doesn't believe in a single active ingredient as being your gold star ingredient. She believes in making great cocktails of ingredients. So this has got 
lots of peptides in it plus retinol and it's a really rich buttery cream that is gorgeous to use at night it comes in a pump like that and i've talked about this one before it smells of retinol um i don't know if pe peptides even peptides even have a smell i presume they don't i've never actually seen them as an active ingredient on their own it's it's such a gorgeous buttery creamy it's just lovely it's really nice and it's beautiful at this time of year when you know the cold nights draw in i mean i'm filming this now the builders have gone home next door and suddenly we've no longer got the nice light evenings and i'm really heavily lit because it's getting dark outside already at like you know half six which is really sad now you'll have heard of elizabeth arden elizabeth arden products are um available everywhere but have you heard of elizabeth arden pro these are my favorite products um, from the company and they are essentially amped up cosmeceuticals from the company and this is their skin renewal cream it's an lca so it's a lactic acid skin renewal cream but guess what it's also loaded with peptides as well and it's a really really lovely product you twist the top and then you sorry my hands are now covered in that cream so and then you pump it up and you get a sort of it's thicker than a serum it's a sort of lightweight lotion that goes on morning and night and again unscented it's it's got a the lactic acid is really lovely actually because that will give you the instant effect you want if you sleep in this overnight your skin will be brighter and clearer and exfoliated and very slightly plumped when you wake in the morning because that's the lactic acid that works on it and that's really hydrating as well so basically it resurfaces and it hydrates but it allows you to be invested in a product long enough to get the peptides to work um the this is available online in the uk and in certain clinics in the uk and it's a range i really like it's well worth checking out what else have I got here? I've got Environ, you won't be surprised to hear. They have something called a peptide cream, which is again a sort of, I think it might actually be empty. It is, it's empty, I've used it all. It was a serum and it was really lovely. Um, and I used it to the last drop. I have to say generally, um, I, <sighs> generally, I think pericone products are a lot of money um, and sometimes I've used them and I've used them right to the bottom and they haven't really delivered what I thought they were going to deliver for the money and I'm really really wary of telling you guys to spend a lot of money on a product that I don't get a visible difference from and I feel the same to be honest with most really expensive products you won't see me recommending products that are worth two or three hundred pounds because that's a lot of money and even though I get them free and I've used them if I can't see a result I'm not going to suck up to any brand to try to get you to spend serious amounts of money on a product but I really like their peptide complex and it comes in a little green bottle like this with a dropper and then you squid you put that in the top and then it, it's a really beautiful lightweight easy to use serum and um it's I mean let me I'm actually going to break this open and use this now and I've been keeping this because I'm going to use it to replace my Environ one and there you go it's a lightweight milky fluid totally unscented um, and I do think this is one of their gold products from their range I really like it and I think if you were to do last week i talked about derma rolling if you were to do use derma rolling and then use something like this or something like this on top i think you'd get the best results they're all unscented this is purely a combination of a lot of peptides as this one is this is a combination of peptides and a lactic acid so it's really lovely to use at night and that's a combination of peptides and retinol now Going back to the number seven one, um, Matrixel is available widely now. It's, um, it was sold to one or two companies in the beginning. You can get it from the ordinary. You can get it at quite a good percentage from the ordinary. And I think they combine it in a serum with hyaluronic acid. I don't have it here now, but I'll try and drop in a picture of it so you know what to look out for. Um, I don't really see the point in putting a single peptide on your face. You kind of need more than one, but that's the advantage of the ordinary because you can basically 
layer up your peptides because each product only costs five, pen, uh, five pounds. So they're really reasonably priced so you can layer on two or three, mix them up in your palm and your hand and put them on all over. So how do I layer up those products? So I use hyaluronic acid always as my first step. And at the moment I'm using niacinamide as well. They're both quite watery, quite sticky. So basically somebody said to me the other day, don't you find all those serums leave your skin sticky? This is the secret, okay? So you use your clear serums, your hyaluronic acid, your niacinamide. Then you start layering on what I call the milky or creamy serums and they will instantly break the stickiness. So on top of that, I would then probably then add my peptides in, which normally, as you can see, come in a lightweight liquid kind of creamy form liquid lotion formulation for day and then slightly thicker formulation for night. And then on top of that, I would put on my antioxidant serums and my antioxidant serums are always the ones that are sort of loaded with lots of vitamins and minerals to protect you from the outside world. And then when you do that, what you end up with is just really beautiful hydrated skin. Sometimes I use a cream if I need it, if it's at night and it's particularly cold or my skin is dehydrated or during the day, if I've been flying or I've been unwell or my skin is dehydrated. But generally that's how you layer up your products and that's how you get peptides into your products every single day. Really well formulated products, let's be honest, should have peptides in them anyway because they're fairly stable, they sit there, they work slowly and steadily over time and they don't ever really clash with any of your active ingredients. So they're well worth putting into your skincare regime. And if you don't have any money, start layering them up from somewhere like The Ordinary, work your way up to somewhere like Regenerist or number seven. And then if you've got some extra money, go up to something like Paula's Choice and the Environ. And if money is no object, you can go to Elizabeth Arden Pro and to Pericone. I do actually really like this product from the range. Tell me if you've got any favorite peptide products. I can tell you something. I bet you've never had pentapeptide shouted at you in the street. Um, if you actually want to see that ad, <laughs> it is below somewhere if you want to have a look at it. Um, it was uh, an ad that I was the face of at least 12 or 13 years ago now. My friend Eve Cameron is now the face of Ole Regenerist and does a beautiful job She's the beauty editor of Good Housekeeping, but <laughs> I was there back in the day and people shouted pentapeptide at me in the street. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. If you've got any peptide products that you think really work and are kind of power peptides, let me know. For me, they should really be more than a single peptide in a formulation to work really well. The downside is I really don't think you're going to see any huge changes in your skin within a few hours or a few days or even a few weeks with using peptides. They're something that you need to use little and often. They're a little bit like using an SPF. Use them now. Thank me later.